guys it's me just shawnee thank you guys for tuning in please hit that subscribe button right now oh 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 right now thank you for everyone who has subscribed to my channel i really do appreciate you guys and do give me feedback comment like tell me what you want to watch so here i am today <sighs> what did i do today absolutely nothing <laughs> And it felt great. No, I actually did do stuff. I actually submitted a video, put in my video submission for Netflix. I'm so excited about that. I would love to be on The Circle. The Circle is my show. Y'all remember, um, what is his name? Will the Virgo? What was his name? Oh my gosh, the Virgo on there, the gay Virgo, the guy. He was my favorite. I can't even think of his name right now. Like it literally just slipped my mind. I'm so mad. I think his name was Chris, but I feel like yeah i think his name was chris he was like my favorite one on a circle i have no oh i got bit by something i was like something hurts me look at that i guess that's a hair bump or something but i've had that hair i believe i've always had hairy arms but yeah i love the circle i have not finished last season 2021 of the circle because my ex being a butthole changed the netflix password and i'm just like bro why would you do that like she i think she stopped paying for netflix and didn't let nobody know and i'm just like bro if you would have let me know i would have paid for netflix like i love netflix better than hula just saying because netflix just has great stuff on it. it has wentworth which i watch all the time like i just finished that season it has riverdale like I like Netflix, but yeah, I didn't get to finish the that's the circle from last year, but I'm hoping to be on the circle for this year. That'll be so great, bro. Or like one of their shows. So yeah, that's one thing I did today. And then I also, is that all I did today? Oh, I washed clothes <laughs> and I made up my bed. My bed, making up my bed is a process. If you have not seen that video of how I make up my bed, go on go on now go watch well after this one go watch that video so i thought i would take a second and in case you were wondering you just wanted some feedback or an update about how me and my aries boo are doing we were doing really good like we hung out the day before it snowed because i had because she wanted something and she wanted to re-up and i was just like oh i got you she wanted something and um <laughs> And I was just like, well, while I'm out and about, do you want to go to Walmart with me? Because it was going to snow. It snowed. It snowed. And then it went away. Like, it melted in, in the next few hours. Like, well, at least I got to see it and be out there. And I didn't get to play it or anything. But I saw them um, plowing the road. So, yeah. She went with me to um, Walmart so I can re-up on stuff. We needed milk and eggs and cheese so yeah she went with me there and i love being in public with her. i love being gay in public i don't know about y'all but i love being gay in public you know back in my day it made other people feel uncomfortable and i enjoyed it even more it was just like oh you feel weird about love love makes you feel weird oh look at you <laughs> but now yeah we were in public and she oh, you know like i don't have the biggest of butts but it's getting bigger since i've been working out this new workout i chunked up just so i can get a bigger but so my fat will go to my butt instead of just staying in my midsection because that's where my fat goes it goes to my midsection it's awful i don't know who who was responsible for that in my family who started those genetics but i don't appreciate it at all anyway so yeah so my butt is looking pretty nice i had on my cargo pants so my pockets makes my butt look you know a little bigger a little fuller so she was just hitting my butt and everything she's obsessed with my butt as much as i am <laughs> so yeah we were just being gay in public and i was you know touching her i really like her but i don't like how she treats me like oh, it's just like oh she's an aries but until i find someone better <laughs> She's my plaything right now. And in fact, we haven't been playing. And that's irritating too. But whatever. She hit me up yesterday. Talking about after you get off of work, you should come over. And I'm just like, see, you don't pay attention to me. Like, how are you going to be wanting me to come over and spend time with me and be liking me? But you don't pay attention to me. If you paid attention to me, like I, I think you guys did. You girls and guys and fellas and young lads and was the female version little girl but y'all know that my last day at work was friday so i'm just like well sh you she should know that i i don't i didn't have to work today so why why you know what i'm saying but she don't listen she was like once you get off work come over and i'm just like why because we have plans you know saturday's our day friday was a snow day thursday um 
we hung out because well, I went to Walmart before the, the snow day. So Friday, she went out of town and she told me she was going to go out of town and we were going to hang out on Saturday. She wanted to make me dinner. I think she was going to make spaghetti or a roast. And then she was going to make me breakfast in the morning. And I was hoping to... You hear me? It's been too long. I don't know what's going on. I look too good to not be getting no tongue. I don't know what's going on. I got too... I'm just like you it's like it's not like I don't have females that want me to who want to lick on my sweetness on my naughty bits however it's just like bro I really want to her you know so it's just like ah it's just like I don't even understand because we were talking she was like man I was thinking about the last time that we did it in your room it was amazing it was nasty freaky I was just like yes it could always be like that however don't make me wait because <laughs> i was like yo new year's it was gonna be like that throat down all night like how you doing 2022 we here disrespectfully coming up in the building you know what i'm saying i was just like whatever but when she said that i was just like so you want me to come over or whatever after i get off work in my head i was just like i'm not i'm not feeling it because like friday she went out of town and she really didn't talk to me as much which is cool because she had already told me what she was going to do she was going to hang out with her nephew and niece which is great i love that and my thing is you do not have to text me all day every day like i prefer for you not to because i'm not going to talk back usually unless the conversation is really good which sometimes it's not okay i'm dealing with aries it's okay <laughs> sometimes they are talking to sometimes they're not However, on Friday, yeah, I didn't hear from her as much as when well, she said she was tired. And when I was telling her that, yo, like when she was like, yo, you see it's snowing. And I was like, yeah, it's snowing. You want to stay there, right? You're not coming back home. You're not driving this mess. And Saturday, she hit me like, um, do you still want to see me on Saturday? Which I thought was a dumb question. Yeah. Do I still want to see you on Saturday? Of course. Of course I want to see you on Saturday because Saturday is our day. Saturday love. I would just like, you know, if you're driving back, because you remember it snowed Friday from like 6, mm, 7 p.m. I, honestly, I don't remember when it started because I was looking and I looked on the weather, my weather app, and it was like, oh, it's going to start snowing at 4. Looked outside at 4, it wasn't there, you know. So I'm thinking it starts snowing at 7 because I, I started that I got on this app and I started, you know, actually trying to find friends. So I was getting a lot of messages because I had gone on there and I've been, I was getting a lot of messages. It, it was crazy. Like, it was just like, whoa, I'm getting a lot of messages. So I started, you know, replying and I was, it's so hard being a friend. Like, it's exhausting. It's a lot you got to do. You have to pay attention. You have to answer messages. You have to reply back. Like, that stuff, being a good friend is really overrated like <laughs> it is too much just too freaking much just took too much of my time i literally sat on my bed for a whole hour replying to people messages back to bed like i would have i was messaging 11 people imagine that just replying back get go answer one person go to the next one and keep on going to it's still adding it's still adding people were double with texting me because i wasn't responding back quick enough because i had 11 people i was talking to it was just ridiculous and i was trying to make snapchats too it was just a lot a lot of work so <laughs> So it started snowing sometime around seven eight o'clock it snowed all the way until it flurried i know i was outside at like 2 a.m <laughs> saturday morning it was flurrying that's when i was watching them plow they were out there plowing at 2 a.m in the morning needless to say the next day when i woke up around 12 ish <laughs> in the afternoon in the evening there was no snow on the ground but like, they did a really good job like there was no snow on the road and the sun came out so all the snow on the ground was melting i could see my sidewalk it was crazy how quickly how quickly the snow came and gone but that's north carolina we'll get random snow we got random snow the, um at the beginning of the week then we had random snow this weekend last week i don't know it'll probably snow again probably i don't know or it's probably done who knows i was really upset because i really wanted to snowboard or make some homemade ice cream but i wasn't up early enough like i was up you know but when i went back to sleep it was just like when way back up it was too late so yeah that happened so 
on Saturday, the roads were clear. So when she was like, all right, am I still going to see you today? It was just like, well, it really just depends on you. Are you coming down here? Because I'm not going up there. There's no reason to go up there anymore because you live down here. So it's like, I'm not about to drive unnecessarily when I can just go right around the corner at your house. You know what I'm saying? So that she sent me that message. We had that conversation around one something. And I was like, are you going, are you coming back? And she said, I don't know. You know, if you you know me, I don't like one word text messages because that implies that I have to continue this conversation. It's up to me now to decide if I want to continue this conversation or lead off with something or say something else to you or keep this conversation going. It's up to me. And most of the times I don't want to. That's too much work. I like it when it's equal, it's even, like it's natural. I can have a conversation with you naturally, like I'm having a conversation with myself right now with y'all right now naturally you feel that you feel the naturality that right there so yeah i just made up that word <laughs> i think so when she, that was at one ish so i text her like okay hun because that's what i say to her when it's just like i don't understand your thinking and i really just don't want to ask for the meeting i'd rather you just tell me what you're implying because i'm just like and when it comes to her i really just don't know how to like i'm a blunt person you know like i'm honest straight to the point sometimes my virgo comes out and i am a <laughs> so i have to remember i'm dealing with an aries and they're a little sensitive not even a little a lot sensitive so when it comes to things i just be like you know i'm not gonna say nothing because it's gonna be too much it's gonna be too much like sometimes she plays the victim and i don't have time for that so after she, after i said okay hun, i ain't hear from her until yesterday and that was saturday at one i ain't hear from her until like yesterday at like six five o'clock five six o'clock telling me that i need to come over after i get off work and i send emoji i sent gifs like i don't like what's about to happen to me <laughs> like basically like you need to give me more details like why am i coming over because i've been coming over for the last three or four weekends ain't nothing happening to my kitty like that's what i'm most concerned about ain't nothing happening and if i come over again like the last time i was just like yo i came over this is my last time coming over here and not getting anything like what i can i can stay at home and get stuff you know what i'm saying like i can go other places like this girl that's light skin all my dms on my instagram hits me up all the time she hit me up i told y'all hit me up the other day it was like yo i'll put well maybe i didn't tell y'all maybe i told my sister but yeah she hit me up the other day and was just like i'm off work today um i can pull up we have sex in the car and i'm just like what am i waiting for why am i waiting on my aries boot when i have so many girls just throwing it at me especially light-skinned girls y'all light-skinned girls are very forward ladies and y'all they're very forward and i very much appreciate it it's really nice however i like to be taken out on a date like understand that i have been feeding however a bitch like to eat other things too that's my number one thing to eat but i also am a fat kid i like to eat so if you want to take me out to eat that'd be nice i would be like oh i'm gonna take you out to eat and then you can eat my you can have me for dessert you know what i'm saying or something mm -mm. i don't i don't get that treatment and it's just confusing to me because i only it seems like i only get that treatment from what other people consider ugly people like if <laughs> i used to talk to this girl and my sisters and everybody was just like mm, she ain't cute she's not your type and everything i'm like but she treats me completely right like how i want to be treated she treats me right that's all that matters to me now at this age that i'm at 27 I just want to be treated right. I want to be treated with respect. Like, I've dated the pretty girls. I've treated girls right. I spoiled girls. I gave them everything they want. I've dealt with their... Shh. It's so hard being a lesbian, man. These females are exhausting. they savages, too. I don't know that so right now I just want a girl who will treat me right spoil me and it's crazy because I was just talking to my sister she was like bitch I was like bitch I think I want a girlfriend and I was like bitch I think I do too but I, I don't I don't I don't 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 give me those problems I don't need those problems all I need is somebody to rub my butt and spoil me that's all I need so I can spoil them back I don't need no girlfriend I need if, I, if that's the case I need like four or five of them if that's the case 
face because I'm just laying. You're not giving me attention. I need attention from someone else. I need attention. That's what I need right now, attention. So if you try to give me attention, hit me up. <laughs> and you're okay with me getting attention from other people. I'm going to get attention from other places when you're not giving it to me. Hit me up. We can be cool. We can be friends. Because I'm ready to travel. I'm ready to do other things with my life. Like... <sighs> For real, it's cuffing season. I'm trying to cuddle up with somebody, but not be in a relationship. The hard word. Mm -mm, off limits. But yeah, that was my day today. I didn't do much. I cleaned. I submitted my video to Netflix. I actually um submitted a demo to a record label. Um, so yeah, I did a few things. <laughs> I did things. Oh, I did my face. I did my makeup. Oh, yeah, but oh, you look cute. I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> I took. A, oh, I brought the trash bin and recycling bin back. Like I cut up fries for dinner. I did stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Please continue to tune in and watching and hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends. Don't forget to comment, leave comments that makes my day like. Follow me on Instagram. You know, all the good stuff. Thank you guys so much. Bye.